Hello YouTubers. One time when I was on university campus, I sat down for lunch near some Christian preachers. Luckily they didn't talk to me, but I was close enough to hear what they were saying to this other guy. First off, let me say that I thought it was obviously a tactical choice that they were going around in a pair talking to people who were by themselves. Anyway, they got to talking and when they asked this guy about God, the reason he chose to raise for not being religious was because of all the religious wars. They responded by saying that the most recent and most deadly wars were atheist wars and the numbers of the dead outnumbered those of all previous religious wars. They claimed that Hitler was an atheist, perhaps because of his Darwinian-esque ideas, but the truth is that he claimed to be a Christian and very often used God in his speeches. George Bush is another recent warmonger who has also claimed to be on a mission from God. Osama bin Laden makes a very big thing about being Muslim. Even Tony Blair and Saddam Hussein declared their religions in the hope that it would rally others behind them. Whether any of these people would be considered as true Christians or Muslims by others of their faith is questionable, but the fact remains that even when the key motives of a war are clearly not based in religion, those driving the war can add an extra level of fanatic extremism to their side by using their faith. <laughs> the atrocities of Stalin are difficult to defend, so I'm not going to try. Dawkins blames them on Stalin's orthodox upbringing, but I think this is highly speculative. I suppose much like Hitler's new national extremist belief system was focused around his book, Mein Kampf, the USSR was based around Marx's book. Stalin rallied his nation in the name of Marxism, which they all believed was a good thing worth fighting and dying for, much like a lot of Westerners believe democracy is worth fighting and dying for. I think the thing to take away from all this is that wars can be waged in the name of many things, but those things cannot be to blame. As long as there are people in power, there will be people who want war. And as long as there are wars, there will be ideals that people are willing to fight for and that the men in charge will be ready and willing to exploit. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I'd love to hear some feedback. Cheers.